forward very quickly in to, to support the people and to see that the effects of these floods are mitigated in the sense that the dams or the ones that are destroyed or rebuilt. So the government and the people's representatives are very, very active in this matter. So I think the government and the parliament is very, very active in the regard to the climate change consequences. It summarizes it all. One voice. Move with one voice. One voice as a country, as a region, as the, the, the world. We should all move with one voice to say enough is enough and that we must save humanity from the effects of climate change. Literally, did I know that uh, maybe, I thought all at, at first, I thought it was the African countries, the least developed countries in Africa, which were heavily affected. But now when I came here, I realized that actually effects of climate change are most prominent here in Asia, mostly in uh, this very beautiful country, Bangladesh. It's been inspiring to hear the work that's being done by parliamentarians around the world and the legislation that's being brought in regarding climate change, the motions they're doing, the all-party caucuses that are forming. And I think what's exciting is that this is a first step that we will build on this conference going forward. I and mean, there's talk of a network, which I think would be really exciting. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the parliamentarians for taking this step at Bangladesh Parliament. And they have now formed the platform for the parliamentarians for climate justice. This is so needed. Of course, the effectiveness of this platform will depend on how our parliamentarians can come together, how they can recruit more parliamentarians from both the North and the South the affected vulnerable countries and the developed countries and take up policies. They need to do the lobbying at the international level. They have to be the pressure group at the international level so that the states and governments in developed countries, in, other, in developing countries engage in this process and they make the adequate appropriate contributions. Because without the adequate contributions, we will not be able to address this. Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank uh, the Bangladeshi Parliament and, uh, the, and, the, and the Speaker for having organized this kind of, uh, uh, you know, meeting or, or seminar. I guess uh, it's the first time where, I guess, parliamentarians have come together uh, to talk about issues of climate change. But it's the first time where we have people from the north and the other vulnerable countries coming together and uh, discussing issues of uh, climate change. We've come uh, up with a declaration which we have just uh, passed as a... Uh, uh, you know, as uh, participants. In essence, it brings about uh, roles of uh, members of parliament in terms of issues dealing with, uh, with climate change. What we've come up with, uh, with a network uh, for issues with climate, it's a technical it's a network of climate justice. And uh, in essence, what we're trying to do is, uh, one, capacity to build members of parliament, two, is also to, in, uh, in terms of our roles of representative oversight uh, and legislation, to see how we can uh, urge uh, our executives to come up with uh, policies that are pro uh, that are pro uh, climate change in terms of how we can adapt and mitigate the issues of climate change, to build capacity for members of our parliament, to build capacity for other stakeholders, not only members of our parliament, because the other vulnerable groups in terms of gender, children, disability, people with their, their disabilities, the youth and uh, to see how best we can uh, mitigate uh, those issues. It also, in, in terms of coming up with a network, it brings together like-minded people and bring back like-minded people so that whenever we have uh, issues of climate change, there's a, the real uh, plus 20 which is, which is coming up. So we can go as a group to what's it called, uh, to push the agenda of uh, people you know, from most vulnerable, uh, vulnerable countries. I'm very happy that the parliamentarians are engaging in, first of all, oversight of, of, of uh, the, the executive in um, making sure that the budget allocations are there for, um, for climate change in general. 